Hey, hey, Libra, I hope y'all are doing well. This is going to be a general reading. For your next surprise, any information you need, you can find it in the description box down below. Um, I do have personals open. These are three question video readings with a general message from your angels. Details are down below here. Goodness. Some of you guys are getting back up from defeat, from heartbreak. Like, I see you carrying on here. I see you carrying on. You have the Knight of Swords showing up. This could have involved a Gemini. Um, a Gemini, an Aries, a Capricorn, Sagittarius, or maybe another Libra for some of you guys. But there was a heartbreak here that you're moving on from, basically. I feel like you're building new, you know? This could have affected other areas of your life, other relationships. I feel like the relationships that you can mend, you're mending, you know, people who you know, you feel open to forgiving and open to working something out with. I feel like, you know, you're doing that at this time. And this is only if this is what you desire, of course, you know. And um, this is not this is a situation where I feel that a toxic connection affected other relationships, friendships, family members, things like that. Um, and I feel like you're working on building that back up. For others of you, I just see you moving on in general, you know, working on your coins, working on, um, you know, your, your mission, your purpose, finding that, uh, pouring energy into that here, Libra. You have the emperor showing up. I feel you guys bossing up, getting a leadership role, okay? Um, being in a really powerful position. I've felt this for you guys for a while, but it's taken a lot of work, you know? Queen of Pentacles, I also feel some disappointment, um, you know, at some times here for some of you, Libra, because there's somebody here, somebody who's not here to see it, you know? And um, for others of you, there's a person here who's put in a lot of work and they're wanting you to see the results, but you're not in their life anymore. You know, I feel like somebody, yeah, 10 of Pentacles, somebody's wanting you to see what it is that they've accomplished. Um, but yeah, I'm feeling like you're accomplishing a whole lot here. Some of you guys, there are people here who just were not feeling like you could do it. I'm getting a Sagittarius or a Pisces or a Gemini. Somebody here was feeling like you were not gonna be able to do it here, okay? I keep wanting to call you Scorpio. It could be this energy right here with the death card. Maybe you have some Scorpio in your chart or something um, because I'm not even doing these in order. So it's not like I'm doing Scorpio next and think I'm on Scorpio. I'm doing these by element. So it's just weird. But you know, I do feel that uh, there's something here that is just gonna shock people around you when you accomplish it because you've gone through this three of swords energy. You've been bruised and beaten. And you know, people are thinking you're not gonna get back up. It's basically the energy that I'm sensing here. But I feel like a lot of you are gonna be delivered a blessing, okay? Because you have just kind of surrendered to like a karmic cycle closing where I feel like most people, whatever this situation is, most people would resist it and you're not resisting it. You're just allowing it to end. You're allowing it to be over. And because of this, there's a big shift coming into your life. I feel like you could have a guide who's delivering you a blessing of some sort. So this 10 of Pentacles is happening to you. You know, um, that's, <laughs> that's how I'm feeling there. A lot of you guys, there's a lot of money coming your way or a big win. The Magician. You're very skilled at this time as well. And I feel like it's because you have all this open space, you know, like spirit's been trying to deliver you this gift and help you to level up when it comes to your, uh, you know, intuitive gifts and your spiritual abilities. However, you know, there's been all this clutter. There's been all this that you're carrying, like your hands are full. They can't hand you that gift, you know, they can't hand you that. So as soon as you clear this out, death card ending, there's a rebirth, there's a transformation, there's a new beginning. And, you know, I feel like there could be a Virgo or a Gemini here who's like, how, how in the world, you know, did that happen for Libra? Because there could be people here who are kind of, watching you stumble when it comes to this magician energy. Like, even if this is not your spiritual gifts, um, I still feel like there's a healing energy about it, you know? Like, uh, you could be in, like, the the nursing field or something. Like, you are a healer. You know, you're still a heal healer. There's still um, a spiritual element to that. And uh, I feel like that's something people don't recognize as well. But there could be somebody here who's watching you stumble, say, you know, through nursing school. Uh, it doesn't have to be that. But, you know, I'm just giving an example here, of course. And they're like, Libra's never going to pull that off. You know, Libra's too, uh, you know, focused on this, that, and the third. And you pull it off. You pull it off. And there are people here who are very shocked about that. I think even you might be shocked at what it is that you're pulling off here, Libra. So that's what I'm saying for you. Some of you, you could have a Sagittarius or a Pisces come your way. Um, I'm getting Earth as well. But that's what I'm saying. I hope that this was helpful. Libra. Uh, details are down below for anybody who's interested in joining me on Patreon or Instagram, or if you want to check out um, the information on personals, it's down below. But if this is where we part, thank you for watching this far. I really appreciate you, and I hope I'll see you next time. Bye.